I just want to go through an amazing extension that I have found and started using and I want to share it with you because it is such a time saver. Okay, so if you hate mock-ups as much as me or maybe you find Photoshop extremely overwhelming or time consuming, um, then this product might be just what you're looking for. So it is an extension that you add into your Photoshop and what it does is it runs a script and it mocks up your products for you. So I did try to figure it out how to record actions and batch things myself and maybe because I'm just not technical but I just couldn't get it to work. So what you need to have this to work is you need Photoshop. So I'm just on the cheapest plan per month, which I think is like less than $20 Australian a month. Um, and then this extension, which was a one-off fee for 47 US dollars, which is about 80 Australian dollars. So to me, this is an amazing investment because I was actually thinking of outsourcing, um, creating mock-ups to a VA because it was just, too much because I batch create all my products I didn't want to batch create mock-ups because I find it tedious and boring so this tool has saved me let's jump in so before we start what you need to do to set up is you have um, three folders set up so in this folder, I have my mock-up files, which are PSD files, Photoshop files that I have purchased with smart objects in them. So I have not created any mock-ups myself because I'm not technical and these look much better than what I could do. So we've got that folder. So in there, I've got 12 different mock-ups that I'm going to use. Then I have the images that I want to be mocked up in a separate folder. So these are images that I have downloaded um, from um, Canva. So these ones here. And what is going to happen is you've got to make sure that these file names are, so when you save it from Canva and download it, you want to make sure these file names are something that will help you to actually determine what is what because everything is going to get saved by this name. Every mock-up for this actual invitation will have that code on it. And then we've got an empty folder where our completed items are going to go. Okay, so now all we need to do, because I've already installed this extension, is you go up to Window, you go to Extensions, Legacy, bulk mock-up. Now it just takes a little second and it's going to come up over there so let's move me out of the way. Have a little think about it. But honestly this has saved me so much time because I can do all of these mock-ups in less than a few minutes and I don't have to do anything. I can just walk away and get a coffee and come back. Um, I can move, move on and go do some other work and come back and then my mock-ups are done. So this is like just an absolute game changer for me because I was putting off creating products simply because I didn't want to mock them up. All right, so now we've got this start bulk mock up here. So we just click on that. Let's come up on my other screen. Let me just drag it back across. Okay. So what we need to select here is the folder that has our mock ups that we want to use. So if we select that, I go product mockups. So the mockup images that we want to use are here. That's not it. Where's the date? Oh, I just click on the folder. Duh, I'm having a blank moment. So just the folder. Okay, and then the export location is that completed folder. That one. And the design location is the actual um, folder where we have the images. So those images that need to be mocked up. Right. So here, um, it says it's going to change them all and save them as JPEGs. So that means that they'll be a good size to upload into Etsy. So that is perfect. 
but you can change that to a PNG if you prefer. And then all we're going to do is hit Run Bulk Mockup, and it is going to do all the work for us. So you'll see it pop up on the screen. It's going to start placing them all into these mockups. Now, while that's doing that, you can actually see them start to appear. So if we go into that completed folder, in a minute you'll start to see folders appear and they'll all have the file names um, of your actual images that you've downloaded from Canva or wherever you've created them. So these will start to generate in a minute. But it's super awesome because you can just walk away. So I'm going to pause this recording now and I'll come back and show you when it's done. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and they are all done. So it has all worked beautifully. Now I'm just going to quickly show you the mock-ups. So it has placed them perfectly into these smart mock-ups. Now the reason I picked 12 is because I've noticed that some of them which have a coloured background don't always come across properly. So that's 3, 4, 5. So these all look great. See, there's one. See how it's smaller than the outside. So I've picked 12 because I'll pick the best ones out of it. So that's the only one that didn't come across with the, with the coloured background. So it's just that one. Beautiful. So that's all of them done. So when we go back to the completed folder, see how I said that they saved them by the actual um, name that you give the file in Canva? So everything is saved with that name in there. So you can trace them, so you can do a search and you'll be able to find everything to do with that product code, if that's how you save things. So this is beautiful, it works perfectly for one page documents at the moment, so um, these are all save the date. So if you're in the stationary niche, these are perfect for you. If you're in the printable wall, ni printable wall art niche and um, you have smart mock-ups that you are using um, for pictures hanging on the wall, etc., this is also perfect for you. If you're in the print on demand niche um, and you are like doing t-shirts or anything, this is also perfect for you. Basically anything that has a smart object in it um, and is just one image, um, this will work perfectly. There is a newer version coming out very soon which is currently in beta mode or I believe or it's about to come out in beta mode and that does multiple images so I can't wait to see that one and when that's released I'll let you know as well. But I'm going to drop a link to this in the description um, because I know that this is going to be very helpful to a lot of people who are like myself and you're not that technical when it comes to Photoshop um, but maybe you have lots of mock-ups, maybe you've been using Photop um, which is what I did for quite a while as well um, and I would manually enter these images in Photop um, but this has saved so much time, like hours of time every week for mocking up products. And this is going to allow me to create and list a lot more products. So I hope that this has helped you. Um, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I'm super excited by this product, if you can't tell. And um, I really look forward to creating and listing more products. So yeah, if this is something that you're interested in, check it out.